Hello and welcome. This is Sheree with Rehash Fiber. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to spin four ply yarn. The reason you would do a four ply would be if you want a very strong yarn for say socks or anything else you can think of because it is stronger because of all the different strands plied together. The other reason to do it is for a fun exploration through spinning. There are three steps to doing the four ply and you get to watch the twist go in different directions and see how the fiber lays upon itself. I love the adventure. So we're gonna jump right in. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. A basic four ply is three steps. We're going to spin four separate singles in an S twist. So the S twist is counterclockwise or to the left. So I'm gonna divide this color in half and do two. And then I'm gonna divide this color in half and do two. I want the two different colors so that you can see how the yarn lays on each other as we're putting this four ply together. It should be really fun. So here we go. So I just divided the dark orange color bat in half. I didn't weigh it or anything. I'm just gonna go for it. And I'm gonna start my S single, which is going to the left. And I'm going to do it pretty thin, but I'm not gonna do it thread thin because I want you to be able to see everything along the way here. So you see that's a pretty nice size. And once we start plying this a second and third time, we will see the colors start to lay upon each other and it'll be really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and just spin these colors and get through the end of step one. Step one is complete. So for step one, we did four S twist singles of the same diameter. For step two, I'm taking two of the colors of the singles because it's more fun that way. And we're gonna ply it with the Z twist and we're gonna over twist it. So if you make a mistake in one direction or the other, make it in the over twisting, just twist it too much because I've made it where I haven't twisted enough and the yarn did not come out right. So I'm going to be very conscientious here of over twisting it. I've got the Ashford Joy 2 set on my fastest ratio, and I'm going to Z ply this with extra twist. And I'm going to do that with the second set as well. So I will end up with two yarns Z plied with a ton of twist. This is step two. Okay, I'm gonna add so much twist here that it's gonna be crazy. Let's take a look at this. There's a lot of twists there, it's kind of crazy. Okay, here we go. Putting in a ton of extra twist. I'm gonna let that twist build up before I feed it in. You see that? Tons of twist. I'm in the middle of step two here and I'm putting in extra twist. So there's times you can see how it's starting to twist on itself. I'm just making sure that it's really twisted. And what I'm doing is that I just watch to see what I would consider would be the normal twist. And then I'm just leaving it there for another few seconds to watch it get really twisted. So you see that? Just putting in a lot, a lot of twist. I've completed step two. So I plied the singles together with the Z twist and I put in a lot of extra twist, as you can see here. For step three, I am taking the already plied yarn that's over twisted and I'm going to ply this together 
with the twist going in the S direction, so to the left. So we're gonna apply it till it pops together and makes the nice four ply. All right, it's really, really fun. You can see it start to happen right here. It's no longer bumpy, they fit together. You can see the different colors and it's really exciting. So that is just really, really fun. I'm gonna continue on until I'm all finished and I'll give you an up close look at this four ply yarn. So this third step has been a whole lot of fun. All that work, doing all the spinning and the plying to lead up to this has made for a very enjoyable four ply. It's great fun when you see it pop together and it's just making a lovely yarn. There's times I can see where in step two, I didn't put enough twist in and you get a little loose area. It's not a big deal. This is homespun four ply and you just keep on going. There you have it. You see how it's done. So I want you to take a closer look here. So my four ply ended up being very ropey and strong feeling, which is good. So that is going to be set aside until the project that requires that type of yarn comes available. In the meantime, it was a very fun spin, super enjoyable to see how the process happens. And I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you give it a try. All right, so there's not gonna be a show next week. I am heading to Prague with my daughter we are going for fun, but also I'm going with the intent to keep my eyes open for fiber exploration. So we'll see what happens. If you're curious about Prague and some of the things I'm seeing and doing, go ahead and follow Rehash Fiber on Instagram and I'll show you some of those pictures. All right, so if you're enjoying the programming, I invite you to join Patreon. That is how creators get paid by the viewers. As little as $3 a month, it adds up. It helps with every process of the show and helps me keep it going. I love doing this so much, bringing you whatever information I can about fiber art. So thanks if you join Patreon and also to the people that are already Patreon members, thank you very much. If you are a Patreon member, you get to watch the show ad free and you get some other perks along the way. So, all right, everybody, happy spinning your four ply. And thanks for watching.